I feel there are many times you can compare Pokemon cards to a fine wine. There are times when a product comes out and it's just not really that exciting. But give it a year or two and it just might surprise you. Case in point, this Shaman Premium Collection box. When it first came out, I had no interest in it whatsoever. But now, it actually seems pretty sweet. So let's pop the cork, test it out, and see how well it goes. Hello everyone and welcome to another Less Than Gosh video. If you love Pokemon and openings like this one, consider subscribing to the channel. That's right, today we are going to open up two Shaman Premium Collection boxes. These boxes, I found at Walmart in stock for $30. And at that price point for eight Sword and Shield era packs, it was pretty much a no brainer for me. The packs inside include Astral Radiance, Lost Origin and Fusion Strike. And as I alluded to earlier in the intro, when this first came out, even at a discounted price point, I really wasn't that interested. At the time, the pack selection wasn't that great. And with only two Lost Origin packs, I figured there could have been a bit more. Now with Sword and Shield era packs becoming more and more difficult to come by, I couldn't wait to purchase this box and even more excited to open it up. So let's rip into it, get 16 total packs, hopefully pull an alt art or two. Okay, so we weren't gonna do a whole opening of the product, but as you can see here, you get a Shaman V, Shaman V Star, and a Jumbo uh, card. These aren't promos, uh, they are from, I think, Brilliant Stars? not Astral Radiance. Uh, the V-Star though is different than the one in the set, so if you're interested in that, cool. Another thing I thought that was interesting is check out the packs if you do see them in store. So one box had two Lost Origin, two Fusion Strike, and four Astral Radiance, whereas another box had only one Lost Origin, which is a little disappointing, two Fusion Strike, and five Astral Radiance. So another thing to keep in mind is, I guess, how much you like Astral Radiance. I myself think it is very underrated and a strong set, so I'm happy to open up that many packs, but uh, be sure to check it out. Also too, I think this was a Black Friday deal a couple years ago at Walmart, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I could be wrong though, please let me know if so. But um, yeah, if you go on the Walmart website, it's about 50 bucks, I think the lowest, so this is probably something you want to check in store. But. Enough talking, let's get into the best part of any video and rip some packs. All right, so here is one code card for you guys. I will keep the other, and we're gonna start off with some Fusion Strike. Let's see if we can get that Gengar or Espeon, or hey, I'll even take a Mew. Uh, what's the front? We're doing the pack trick, but let's see what we got. I'm not sure if we'll do the pack trick for every single pack but we'll start it off that way at least as we begin with a cursula and a cursed pack you know that was the first that's gonna be the last for a while let's just get right into it guys we we know that fusion strike is difficult to get the hits we do get one though uh serena v so it's something not the most exciting but Let's see what we get in the last two Fusion Strike packs. So, yeah, this Shaman deal, I feel like, is pretty sweet right now. Again, it seems like it came out in 2022, and at the time, I don't think Fusion Strike was that exciting to most uh, Astral Radiance either. But now, oh man, 30 bucks, 8 packs in general? That's an excellent deal in any aspect. I don't care what packs you're getting. So, get that, and for them to be... Sword and Shield era? Let's go. Pretty sweet. Hopefully we can pull something today. But it looks like Fusion Strike will... Oh, man. I almost had to bite my tongue there. A Mew, Mew V Max. As I can't even speak. That's all right. We'll take that. I don't know if it's sleeve worthy. Oh, for a second, maybe we were going to get into some uh, Mew Alt Art territory, but... Not a bad start for Fusion Strike, but we're going to move on to Astral Radiance now um, and see what we can get. We'll save the Lost Origin for last, because we all know what we want to see out of there. The 
Galarian Berserker alt art. That's what that's what I want. It's like drop cards everywhere. Um, the Giratina we already pulled, so that's already on board. I thought I saw. I don't know. Interesting. I thought I saw a little something. I think it was just some frayed edges there. But yeah, so we do have the Giratina in a PS3 nine. Did get that card. Uh, we have pulled the Aerodactyl as well in an earlier video. So really all that's left is the Unknown and that Berserker. And I would really like to get the Berserker. I am a cat dad myself, so. I'd also like this the Persian from Shrouded Fable looks really sweet. As of right now, I think that might be my chase. Let's see, Reggie Drago and a Starmie V. We're really not getting any quality here, but overall, a couple of hits to start. In our 16 pack sword and shield opening. You guys will have to let me know. Have you seen this product recently? I feel like it is kind of a restock. Is it something you'd be interested in picking up? As we strike out again. And also thoughts on Astral Radiance. This was a, a set that I initially was not super excited about, but over time I've really come to appreciate the different arts. Nothing. Jeez, okay. Uh, alt arts, specifically, obviously. Um, there was no like super major popular Pokemon in that alt art category. And of course, just coming off the heels of Brilliant Stars with Charizard, and with knowing that Lost Origin was coming out with a Garatina. But, I don't know, they're just great arts, and that's something I feel like I'm starting to appreciate more and more. Like, I love that Suian Sneasler. The Beedrill was actually really cool. Uh, and then, of course, you have the origin form Dialga and Palkia, which wouldn't be mad at either one of those either. But as of right now, we are continuing the trend as we were last video of just striking out. I really hope we get a little something exciting out of these two, but right now it's not looking that way. And as I say that, Gold tends to rear its head quite often here on the channel, and I feel like that's might what we have here, but which one is it? Let's check it out. I'm a champ VMAX. All right, nice looking. Oh, and it's rainbow. I said gold. I mean, it kind of looks like gold there, but still very cool. I love, I really love the texture of these Scarlet and Violet, later Scarlet and Violet era rainbows. I, I wouldn't be so shocked to see them return as per usual. I am not prepared. Oh, there we go. We are now ready with the sleeve. So at least we have something there. That is a pretty cool card. All right. Is that going to be the hit of the opening though? Can't be too upset about it. Champ. That was a weird one too. The Machamp alt art being like the big chase for this set. Kind of random as we get a, a Garchomp V. All right, we got a decent amount of Vs, but that does end the Astral Radiance portion of the opening. Now we have three Lost Origin, and this is where we can really come through with something sweet. Let's see what we get. Lost Origin. You know what? Two, three. Let's do the pack trick for, for these. Let's see what we can get for these. Now, if there was more Lost Origin packs in these, I think it'd be even better. Uh, again, Astro Radiance is pretty sweet, but man, if we could get like maybe three, I could swap the amount of Lost Origins with Astral Radiance, that'd be even better. Two, three, oh, four. Counting. It's a great thing. Stay in school, kids. And uh, I don't know how we are going to be ending off today. 
a palm bonnet. All right, here we go. Last pack magic. We do have rainbow on the table, but I feel like we could. Can we do it? Oof. Well, okay. Well, it's rainer gallery or bust on this one. You know what we'll do? We'll, we'll switch there. We know there's not going to be anything in the rare slot. So will we get a trainer gallery, which seem to be so much harder to come by in these later reprints? Nothing. Well, another somewhat lackluster opening, but again, getting eight packs for $30 sword and shield. It's always a pleasure opening it up. So still recommend the product, the polls, hopefully you do a little bit better. There you have it, everyone. The shaman premium collection again if you can see it in walmart for 30 bucks i'd recommend it uh, again the polls weren't great you'd have to think about what you like in terms of pack selection but again at this point if you're getting to open up that amount of sword and shield era packs for that price point might as well go for it uh thanks again for those who have lasted this long in the video you guys are real ones and to reward you if you're still here and watching and you're interested in this rainbow machamp v max drop a comment down below and let me know what's your favorite set from this premium collection and i'll pick a winner next week uh and yeah, this could be yours if you're interested as a little bit of a thank you. But as always, if you like the video, please smash the like button by hitting that thumbs up button. Drop a comment down below because I love hearing from you and I do respond to everyone. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, everyone, and have a wonderful rest of your day. Master of Apex and Pokemon 2, dodging shots, playing high like the Jets crew.